Uh, hello, uh, my name is David Owens. I'm in the departments of dermatology and pathology and cell biology at Columbia University uh, in New York. And one of the main areas of investigation in my lab pertains to uh, trying to get a better understanding of the cellular basis for our sense of touch in the skin, uh, which is our largest sensory organ. And so uh, together uh, with Yan Doucet, who is a PhD student in my lab, uh, we will be discussing some of our findings, uh, which were recently published in Cell Reports, and describe the maintenance of a mature lineage of touch receptors in the skin epithelium termed Merkel cells. Our sense of touch enables numerous behaviors fundamental to human existence, allowing us to eat, communicate, and survive. Discriminative touch is also central to vital social interactions, uh, such as mating, maternal bonding, and successful child rearing. Um, and we know cognitive development is stunted in mammalian infants that are not adequately touched, and proper cortical development requires input from peripheral touch receptors. Uh, in mammals, uh, we know that different tactile qualities, uh, for example, curvature, texture, and vibration, are encoded by touch receptors with distinct physiological properties and morphological end organs. Uh, however, the cellular and molecular mechanisms that underlie this diversity uh, are poorly understood. Uh, so in this study, we set out to better understand the cellular basis for the maintenance of Merkel cells, which are cutaneous me uh, mechanoreceptors that perceive light touch stimuli. And it's our hope that some of the fundamental aspects of this work will hold significance for future studies um, that address uh, the loss of touch sensitivity in aging skin, um, which is also associated with the loss of Merkel cells, and also for pathological skin conditions, uh, such as Merkel cell carcinoma. During homeostasis, epithelial stem cell in the skin maintain four distinct differentiation lineages. In the interfollicular epidermis, stem cell maintains squamous lineages that ultimately give rise to the stratum corneum, which is the outermost layer of our skin. In the sebaceous gland, progenitors maintain a pool of mature sebocyte whose lipid secretions help maintain a healthy skin barrier. Stem cells in the belt region of the hair follicle give rise to the cells that differentiate into a growing hair shaft. Merkel cells are mechanoreceptors essential for light touch sensation and are maintained by a previously unknown epithelial stem cell niche. They're located in whiskers and pelage hair follicles and also in a unique epidermal structure called the touchstone. The touchstone is made of unusual columnar shaped keratinocyte that are found in the basal layer of the epidermis alongside with Merkel cells. The structure is also innervated by myelinated sensory neurons. The goal of this study was to determine how Merkel cells are maintained during homeostasis and what relationship exists, if any, between those touchstone keratinocyte and Merkel cells. More precisely, we wanted to know if Merkel cells were genetic descendant of touchstone keratinocyte. We also wanted to investigate if touchstone keratinocyte were long-lived epidermal cells of the skin. And finally, we wanted to get a sense of mature Merkel cell turnover. To address this question, we made use of our microarray profile of uniquely expressed gene in the touchstone to gain genetic access to these cells. We generated a transgenic mouse model to specifically target touchstone keratinocytes and trace the cellular input into the epithelium during skin renewal. This mouse model expresses a fluorescent protein specifically in touchstone keratinocyte that allowed us to keep track of the cell destiny. We found that during homeostasis, Merkel cells start to accumulate this genetic tag inherited from touchstone keratinocyte, thereby providing the evidence that they're in fact direct descendant of touchstone keratinocyte. Importantly, we were able to estimate the turnover of mature Merkel cells, which we found to be around 7 to 8 weeks. One property of stem cell is their persistence in a tissue over multiple rounds of renewal. So our idea was to chase those transgenic mice where we had induced this fluorescent protein expression for an amount of time that corresponds to several turnover of the whole epidermis. This way, if touchdown keratinocyte were still found, this would mean that they're permanent resident of the skin. And this is exactly what we saw. 
After 12 weeks, which is about full turnover of mouse skin epidermis, we found persistence of the touchstone keratinocyte, attesting that the long-lived epidermal stem cell responsible for mucal cell homeostasis. Then the next challenge was to understand how this niche fits with other lineages of the skin and look for any potential overlap with other stem cell population. For this experiment, we used another transgenic mouse to genetically ablate touchstone keratinocyte. We made two very interesting findings. First, we observed that touchstone keratinocytes were effectively depleted. Then when we examined touchstone depleted mice several weeks following genetic ablation, we found that touchstone keratinocytes were not recovered. This finding suggests that the touchstone is a confined niche that is not replenished by any other stem cell population of the skin. The second thing was the innervation of the touchstone. It is known in the literature that if you selectively deplete Merkel cells, the sense of touch is lost but the innervation remains intact. Surprisingly, by immunostaining, the skin of touchstone depleted mice revealed that the sensory neurons innervating the touchstone was strongly altered. This actually suggests a potential crosstalk between touchstone keratinocyte and the afferences and let us think that touchstone keratinocyte are required to maintain proper innervation of the touchstone. Altogether, we have established that Merkel cells are genetic descendant of the touchstone columnar-shaped keratinocyte, that the turnover of mature Merkel cell in the touchstone is around seven weeks, and that touchstone keratinocyte are permanent resident of the skin. While our finding can completely exclude the possibility of a cellular overlap with other epithelial niches, this strongly suggests that the touchdome is a self-replenishing niche. Finally, we also show a potential role for touchdome stem cell in maintaining innervation by sensory afferences.